demanding transparency. That's what the U.S. representative for Missouri's first congressional district is urging after the revolt at the city justice center. Our Justina Cornell spoke to Congresswoman Cori Bush. And she has those details. For people to go through such lengths to be able to have their voices heard, that is something that should make everybody pay attention. Congresswoman Cori Bush now directs that attention towards city leaders following the uprising at the St. Louis Justice Center. I knew there had to be more to the story. In a letter, Bush demands answers from city officials, outlining 10 questions. Publicly releasing COVID-19 testing and case rates, the use of segregation and solitary confinement and the conditions of the jail. We are counting on the city to be a lot more transparent. She's put a deadline on a response February 15th. The U.S. representative says she's been talking with Mayor Lida Krusen and Corrections Commissioner Dale Glass. The meeting was to just talk about how we can work together. It was about talking about how we can partner to make sure that um, the people that are housed inside CJC and all throughout you know, the St. Louis area are being treated with dignity and respect. Bush says people have been calling her office, complaining about the city justice center's conditions. That's why she's ready to step in to create solutions. Our obligation as public officials is to ensure equal justice and protection under the law for every person in St. Louis. And that is what I'm here to do. Justina Cornell, five on your side. A task force will review current conditions inside the Justice Center. It was chaired by former Missouri Supreme Court Chief Justice Michael Wolf. However, Mayor Krusen announced today that Wolf is stepping back, saying he is interested in working on long-term policy changes, but she still has charged the task force to address the urgent issues at hand. Coming up, a bald eagle.